Hello and welcome to another episode of General Nerdery. I love these things. I don't care whether you call them a jump drive, a flash drive, a USB stick, or a thumb drive. I don't care if you call them tuna fish, they're awesome. And just a few years ago, who would have thought that you could carry gigabytes of information in your pocket? But still, I can't help but feeling that there's something more that they could do, some untapped potential. If only, if only you could carry your favorite programs with you and run them directly off of a stick like this, without affecting anything on the computer that you were running it on. If only you could carry your favorite browser with you, configured exactly the way you liked it, and run it right off of this stick. If only there was a way to do that. PortableApps.com I'm going to start by jumping straight to the end. I'm going to show you what we're going to be creating. The PortableApps.com platform basically creates a second start menu that runs directly off of your jump drive. It has your own programs, your own home folder, and documents. You can plug your jump drive into any Windows computer and run any of these programs, access these files as if they were natively on the computer, but in fact they aren't affecting anything that is on their system. This can be a great asset if you ever need to get work done on a system that's not yours. You can begin a project at school, at work, or at a friend's house, take the jump drive with you, and then continue it at home. Alright, so now back to the beginning before I set up this jump drive with portable apps. If you haven't done so already, plug in your jump drive, preferably into the computer directly, not into a USB hub. If it isn't a brand new drive, you should clean it off and format it before we install the portable app software on it. Now open up your browser and go to portableapps.com. Once there, we want to go up to Suite and then select Download. On this page, you'll see that there are three ways you can download the platform. You can choose to download the platform alone and then select all your own programs or download one of the two pre-done suites. Personally, I always pick my own program, so that's what we're going to do here. Save the file to your desktop or wherever it's convenient for you. And then once that's done, go ahead and close or at least minimize your browser. With that done, locate the portable apps installer and open it. Go through all the usual prompts. When you get to choose install location, select browse, and then navigate to and select your jump drive. Now click install. Not that it takes long, but I'm going to go ahead and speed up all the install times on this. Now click finish, and your freshly installed portable app start menu opens up. Of course, it isn't much use to us without any programs, so let's go get some. Back on the Portable Apps website, this time select Applications at the top. This will bring you to the app directory. There are hundreds of applications here, all of which can run portably, and all of which, to the best of my knowledge, are completely free. They're broken down into categories like Utilities, Security, Office, and so forth. If you click an application, you'll be taken to a page that will tell you more about that application and also where you can download it. Once you've found a program that you want, just save it to your desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and download a few more applications for demonstration, but I'm not going to make you watch the process. Here we go, I've selected five different programs to add to our portable apps jump drive. Select the first program that you want to install and open it. The installer will automatically find your portable apps drive and the appropriate folder on that drive to install to. After the installation is complete, the program will be added to your portable apps menu. And it can be run from there just by clicking it. Well, we don't need to sit here and watch Clam AV update. Once you've got all your programs installed, you're pretty much ready to rock and roll. But there is one other thing I'd like to show you. What if you'd like to run a program that's not available on PortableApps.com, but you know can run portably? There is a way to do that, and it's actually really easy. Now I've already downloaded the portable version of FastStone Image Viewer. Let's just open up that zip file, move it over to the side, and reopen Portable Apps. Now select Explore, and you'll be brought to the root directory of your portable apps jump drive. 
From there, open the Portable Apps folder. This is where all the programs that you install on this drive get put. Now I'll just drag the Fastone Image Viewer folder over into my Portable Apps folder. Wait for the transfer to complete. Okay, now let's go ahead and close both of these. And reopen Portable Apps. Now as you can see here, sometimes programs added this way don't immediately appear under the programs list. But they will show up the next time that we insert our drive and open up Portable Apps. So let's just go ahead and close this now, eject the drive. Okay, now I'll go ahead and remove it. And I'll plug it right back in. Now to reopen Portable Apps, I'm just going to go and find the drive in Windows Explorer. And now double click the Start Portable Apps button. When this reloads, we'll see. There we have it, Fastone Image Viewer has been added to the list. Simple as that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For anyone who's interested, I'm also going to be including a complete list of all the apps that I use on my portable apps drive in the show notes. If you like what I'm doing here, please remember to rate, review, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week on General Nerdery.